Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five video for you today for Madden 21. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five teams that I think are best to build a long term dynasty in CFM. And to do that, it's really simple. All you really need is a lot of young talent, uh, some salary cap space. Uh, I mean, ultimately, those are probably the two most important things. So, I'm going to show you the teams that have the most young talent and then the most salary cap space so you can build a long lasting dynasty, win a bunch of Super Bowls, beat all your friends, whatever. So that's it. Before we get into the video, though, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. I'm hooking you up, so hook this channel up back. Show me a little love, show me a little support, so I can get this channel pumping as much as possible, and I really appreciate it. So let's go and let's move right into the video. Next up, we got the Colts. Now, this is another team. Uh, I mean, on the offensive side, they're pretty set. I still think Jacoby Brissett could be your future, but they also drafted Jacob Eason if, if that's not, you know, if he doesn't necessarily work out. Ultimately, the quarterback position is probably the biggest area of need on the offensive side, though. Uh, when you go to the running back core, Marlon Mack is solid. He's young. Uh, Naheem Hines is fast. Uh, and then they also drafted a running back in the second round, Jonathan Taylor. So that's another really good, uh, you know, three options there. All of them really strong. You could trade one or two of them away and still be set the receiving core also very strong your, your oldest guy ty hilton is still kind of you know in his prime and then you got young guys coming up like paris hilton i'm like Paris Campbell, uh, Michael Pittman, who they drafted in the second round. So you got a solid three wide receiver set to start with. Uh, decent tight ends as well. I think Trey Burton is a really good player for what he is. Uh, 85 speed guy on the offensive side. Then the, the offensive line is still pretty young. You have some really great players like Quentin Nelson. You got Ryan Kelly. All of them very strong. Offensive line as a whole is pretty strong. Then you got on the defensive side. Uh, once again, this is kind of where you are lacking a little bit. But they did trade for DeForest Buckner. Uh, they do have Darius Leonard, some really good young defensive players that you can build around, uh, especially a guy like uh, Rocky Sin in the secondary, Kenny Moore, uh, Malik Hooker. So some really strong pieces in the secondary. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, the biggest thing about this team is their salary cap is ridiculous. Show me the money. As they have 113, a league leading 113 million dollars in cap space. Show me the money! Making them one of the most attractive destinations to build a franchise. Next up, we got the Jaguars. Now, this is a team that's been hemorrhaging talent over the last couple years, but they still have a lot of really young talent I'm going to go over. And then number two, one of the most important things, they got about $90 million in cap space in the upcoming season, the upcoming offseason, second in the league, behind only the Colts with a ridiculous $113 million. Uh, their offense is actually kind of set, if you ask me. Gardner Minshew, I'm not sure if he's the guy, but if you can work him up, you got a quarterback, you might need one, though. Uh, but then they also have some really good talent at running back. Leonard Fournette, to me, uh, he's a super superstar he deserves it he's a great player going to the wide receiver core you're set there as well dj chark speed day day westbrook speed chris conley speed and size uh keenan cole or kellen cole good player and they also drafted lavisky chenault so they're just loaded at the receiving core uh all you're really, you're really gonna need there you don't need nothing else there the offensive line has some good young players like cam robinson andrew norwell uh brad brandon linder uh and i think they have a pretty solid uh second round pick Jawan taylor so definitely set there the defensive line once again, I mean, the defense on the first couple teams I mentioned didn't have a great defense. This team has a great foundation for defense. Josh Allen had a great rookie season. Yannick Ngakwe once out, but who knows? Maybe you can keep him. It's Madden. Kayla Von Chason, I think, was what, a second round pick or a first round pick? Love has athleticism. He's an 85 speed. Uh, they have some pretty good guys on the defensive tackle spot. A first round pick out of Taven, uh, Taven Bryan. You got to work him up. Uh, some decent linebackers. Joe Schobert, they just brought over Miles Jack. Uh, cornerbacks, they brought over CJ Henderson uh, with, with one of their first round picks. Uh, and then they also have some pretty good safeties. A, a second round pick in Ronnie Harrison. So ultimately, the offense and the defense has a terrific foundation. Foundation. Next up, we got the Chargers, another team, $66 million to spend in the offseason. They actually went out and got the quarterback of their future. A lot of these teams have a hole at that area, not this team. I mean, Justin Herbert is the guy. He's got the arm. He's got the speed. He's got everything you need. Then you go to the running backs. Austin Keller looks like a star. Uh, I mean, they have a pretty decent backup option, too, to Justin Jackson. Go to the receiving core. They're pretty good there, too. Keenan Allen, not really that old. I mean, he's only seven years in the league. Mo, or Mike Williams, three years in the league. Uh, they might need another 
other receiver. I'm not sure they got the third guy there, but you definitely have those top two guys. And then Hunter Henry is one of the best uh, best tight ends in the game, best, most well, well-rounded, only on year four. The offensive line has some decent players along the way, uh, but they definitely are going to need some upgrades there. That's probably their biggest issue. They got some older linemen. On the defensive side, definitely not the problem. Joey Bosa, four years into the program. You got Melvin Ingram. He's a little bit older, but I mean, you have some good players here. They also drafted Jerry Tillery in the first round last year. He's the future at your defensive tackle spot. Some of the linebackers are just kind of meh, uh, but they did go out and they got Kenneth Murray with their first pick this last year. One of their, or, or, I think it was their second pick, but they traded back into the first round to get him. Then you go to the cornerbacking spot. They're a little bit old on some of these guys, but Desmond King, uh, the second, is not old. Uh, I mean, you're going to be good to start, but you're definitely going to have to, to refunnel some talent into the secondary. And then you got Derwin James, who's one of the best safeties in the game, and uh, Nasir Adderley as well. Next up, we got the Cardinals. Now, this is a team that I enjoyed using last year, and then they went out and they went got one of the best receivers in the game uh, in DeAndre Hopkins. So you got your superstar quarterback in Kyler Murray uh, throwing to him, handing off to Kenyon Drake, who looks like a bit of a player, 91-speed guy, definitely a solid running back. Uh, you have some really good receivers behind DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, Larry Fitzgerald is going to be gone, uh, but ultimately Christian Kirk, Andy Isabella, speed guys, 95 and 92. Then you got Akeem Butler, who's a six foot five uh, rookie from the same draft class as Isabella. Uh, so you have a lot of young guys to work up. Don't really have too great of a tight end set. The offensive line's kind of meh, uh, but you have a lot of really good offensive players to, to spread people out with. On the defensive side, uh, once again, lacking a little bit of talent. The linebackers are solid, though. Chandler Jones, one of the best in the game. Jordan Hicks, uh, pretty, you know, obviously a very good player. Uh, and then you get to the secondary, and there's some strength there, too. Patrick Peterson, Byron Murphy, who was a second-round pick for them the year before, I think. Uh, they have some really good sec secondary pieces. And Buda Baker, who's a superstar. So uh, not necessarily great to the front of the of the defense but the back is really good and then they also have Isaiah Simmons who's a freak 94 I'm sorry 93 speed six foot four 240 pound rookie uh obviously you know this 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 team is definitely going places Next up, we got the Broncos. This is a team that I want to join a CFM just so I can use and build. Uh, as far as salary cap goes, they only got about $50 million only. I mean, that's still a lot. Uh, but they are loaded with talent. I love the receiving core and the passing game. Drew Locke, he's a guy you can work up. Uh, the running backs, you have Phillip Lindsay, who's only in the year, only in the league two years. Uh, Melvin Gordon, who's going to be around a while, too. He's only been in the year five years. So that's a hell of a two-back set. Then you go to the receiving core. Cortland Sutton, young uh, superstar. I didn't really, that's surprised. Then you got Jerry Judy, who you know could be a superstar for all I know. I mean, he's not, but like he could be a really great player. And then you got KJ Hamler, a 94 speed guy for your slot. So your three wide receiver set is great. Noah Fant came out of the draft first round last year. You don't have a, there's not a lot of 89 speed tight ends in the game. So this guy's a monster. I didn't even know he was six foot four. I thought he was shorter than that. So you have a lot of size, a lot of speed, some good linemen too, and uh, young guys, Garrett Bowles and Dalton Risner, and guys that you can work up. They definitely have some guys there on the defensive side. Side. Uh, not a lot of young talent. Drill Case is solid for now. Uh, Von Miller, I mean, obviously he's a guy um, who's not going to be around forever, but he's still really good. Uh, the linebacking core also has Bradley Chubb, who's only two years in the game, so he's going to have to take over for Von Miller. And then the secondary has some of the best guys in the league. Uh, Justin Simmons, one of the highest rated safeties, and uh, Kareem Jackson, who's solid. So defense is solid, offense is going to be solid, uh, and you have a lot of money to spend. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see me grow some of these teams in a uh, CFM and some gameplay, and you know do all that stuff because i'm actually thinking about it let me know in the comment section with the like button and i could really stand to do that this year other than that thanks for watching man shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below